A major theme of this course is algebraic structure. In ma al academic mathematics, algebra is about the structures that exist on mathematical objects. I want to teach you this language, this perspective, to think about mathematics as the study of abstract structures and their properties. In this video, I want to lay the groundwork for that understanding, and I'll do this by talking about number sets. You should know the first few number sets from calculus, the natural numbers, the integers, the rational numbers, and the real numbers. Hopefully their double-barred notations are also familiar to you. I can introduce new number sets as well. Some of you might know the complex number system C, which allows square roots of negative numbers. Some of you may be familiar with modular arithmetic, which is the ordinary integers that loop back on themselves. Z mod 12, which is written here, is the system of clock numbers. When the clock gets back to 12, it resets to zero. In this system, 13 is the same as one and is the same as 25, because all numbers are reduced back to their place in the clock, their values between zero and 12. These are number sets. So what do I mean by structure? I mean mathematical concepts that act on or live in these sets. Here are some examples. Many sets of operations. These are structures. Addition is a structure on almost all of the number sets. Subtraction is a structure on most of them, but subtraction is not a structure on the natural numbers. The subtraction 3 minus 7 does not live on this set because its result is not a positive whole number. Multiplication is a structure on all of these again, but division is not a structure on the natural numbers or the integers. Dividing by whole numbers does not produce whole numbers, it produces fractions. That leaves the number set, so it cannot be a structure of the natural numbers or the integers the way it is a structure of the rational numbers or the real numbers. Those were four binary relations. I defined two new binary relations in the videos this week, the dot product and the cross product. The dot product is a structure on any Rn, and the cross product is a structure specifically on R3. Structures don't have to be just binary relations, though. Less than and greater than are structures on most of these sets. However, they are not a structure on modular arithmetic because it goes around in a circle. In clock numbers, is 3 before or after 7? It could be both, since there is a 3 after 7 and a 3 before it. Absolute value is another structure on several of these sets although it doesn't really do anything on the natural numbers since everything there is positive. In the first week, I introduced commutativity, associativity, and distribution. In this week, I talked about how the cross product is anti-commutative. These are all properties of structures. Once I have structures, I want to know their properties. This is in many ways the core of algebra, understanding structures on sets and investigating how they work what rules they obey. And I will keep returning to this theme over and over throughout the entire course.